This Wednesday night and Thursday is my favorite Jewish holiday, Purim. Purim, say the rabbis, is a very holy and special day. Actually, Yom Kippur stands for Yom Kippur, a day that is like poor Purim, but not as good. Because in Yom Kippur, we come close to God by withdrawing ourselves from the physical world. On Purim, we come close to God by taking the physical world, by eating and drinking and celebrating the amazing rescue of the Jewish people in Persia thousands of years ago by lifting the food up, by enjoying it and having a wonderful time and rejoicing, of course, with great simcha. There's a beautiful moment in the Megillat Esther, in the story of Purim, that reveals such a beautiful truth about Judaism and about our role in this world and about possible missed opportunities. Esther, we know, was forced to enter the palace of Ahasuerus and there she was forced to marry Ahasuerus. And there was a moment when she was permitted to enter into the inner sanctum, into the throne room of Ahasuerus to plead to Ahasuerus and to God, of course, beforehand. She fasted for three days before this very momentous event to ask him to save the Jewish people. Before she does that, though, her preparation was to speak to Mordechai. And Mordechai said to her two amazing things. Number one, he said, you've got to go in, although it was a suicidal mission, because Ahasuerus could have realized she was Jewish and could have killed him on the spot. So first of all, he said, you've got to gird yourself. You've got to feel the importance and responsibility you have in this position of the Queen of Persia to go and save the Jewish people. And he said, if you decide not to go, then God will find redemption and deliverance from somewhere else. And also don't think that you can hide here in the palace and pretend that you're not Jewish for too much longer because eventually the secret will get out. What an amazing thing to say. The Jewish people were going to be saved. Esther's only decision was, was she going to be the one who's going to stand up and save the Jewish people? Or would it have been someone else? And it could have been someone else. And instead of Megillat Esther, we would have Megillat Shoshana, or Megillat Sarah, or Megillat Sheila, or who knows? But Esther realized that her entire life came down to this one moment. And she went in, and she invited them to a party, and then another party, and eventually she told Ahasuerus who she was, and the Jewish people, thank God, were saved. Every moment of our life, could actually come down to one instant of making the right decision, good or bad, and always with responsibility to our people. Wishing you a Shabbat Shalom and a Purim Sameach.